So here I'm going to take a moment and show you how to, we do straight lines and arcs in Moto Man. Now there's a, there's a trick to it. Uh, lines are easy, but before we've talked about how to create jobs and we created uh, move J's, which are just basically get to the point as fast as possible. Every joint in Mo Motion just get there as fast as possible and it's controlled by a percentage. Well, in um, linear motion, we actually can put a speed in. And how we would do this is just like what we do before. The only big difference is, is, is hitting this move type. And so if you hit this move type, you can see it scroll right here and it changed to a move, move L. That's a linear, okay? It's a much slower motion because it's being calculated, but this is how it would do a motion. So in this case, so say I want to do, I'm going to um, create a new job just to show you. So my job create new job, and I'm going to hit select right here, and I'm going to call this line circle, line circle, and I hit enter, and now everything's good, and I will hit execute. And so again, here's the NOP. So first things first, I'm going to record a, a position that's over what I want to do, and make that a move J. So I'm going to go move J. And I'm gonna engage, turn my, put my servos on ready, which they're blinking, and hit my enable my dead man. And then, when I'm at the position I want, I hit enter. Here, double beep, and there it is. Now I will move the robot to my to the position I want. And if I want to move straight down, if I want to move straight down, I'll just move straight down. And if I want the robot to actually do that, that would be a move L. And if I want it, so I would hit motion type. So you know, hit motion type, so it gets to the move L. And then I hit enter. And once again, you can see it stops flashing and it's at that position. And so now if I want to then, so I just moved it down to that position. And now if I want to create a straight line, now I jog the robot in a straight line to the position I want. And now you can see I'm in rectangular coordinate planes, but say that's my straight line. Now I would go here and go once again, I would just hit, make sure move L is there and hit enter. Okay? So, awesome. So far, so good. So then I would Z up, kind of Z up, get out of the way, and, and let's say I want that to be a move J because it's faster. I hit enter. Oh shoot, I want that to be a move J. All I have to do is hit select on that line, and then where it says move L, hit select again. Whoops, cancel, sorry. Hit, um, I'm on the wrong side. Go over, I go over to the, no, I go over to this side, hit select, hit select, Uh, we'll get to that later. I'm kind of drawing a blank because I'm used to Fanuc. Um, but that's how you would do move. But if not, if I want to delete it, all I got to do is hit delete, enter, and it would go away. Um, as long as it's at that position. So if I want to record that as a, as a J type, I hit motion type, J, and hit enter. And now it's there. All right. Next thing, if I want to record a circle. Let me move to my position, and I'm just going to do another move J, and let me now scroll down to that first point that you can see kind of right there, I'm kind of over top. Now you need three move C's in order to make a circle. The circle commands are move C. So if I hit motion joint, move C, you can see it shows up right there, but the first motion in to a circle is always like a linear. But I, I, so I'll make it as a move C, so let me hit enter. And now I will move it to basically the top of the arc. And now that's close. And then I hit a, hit it enter again. And then I put it to the, the last side of the arc. And then I hit move C. 
and I don't want to back it out. And say I want to go back to the first position I have. Well, that's th that simple. So this, remember that move J? If I hit forward, the robot will forward to that position. And then once I'm at that position, I can change my motion type to a move J and hit enter, and now it's there. So now let's test this out. So one way we test this out is by just hitting forward. So I go to the top of my job, and I hit the forward key. And I can forward to each point. And you can see that it's forwarding to each point, and once it's stopped, and this is a way for me to test motions at reduced speed. And take a look at that arc, that could do it much better than what I could draw it. And now it's done. If I want to do it in a, in a run test, all I got to do is hold down interlock and test start at the top of the job. Now it's at the top of the job. And I will hold down interlock and test start. And you can see it kind of, oh, it's only going one step at a time because I'm in step mode. So let me go to job cycle and change this into cycle. That's why it was confusing me. So now if I do interlock test start, now notice how slow it's going. Because I'm only at like 11%. And now look at it go. It's in slower motion because it is a linear motion. But it should be faster once I hit the 45% mark of the move J. But you can see it's going in a straight line, but look how fast the move J's are in comparison to the move L's. Granted, I kicked it up a little bit for, four, for the move J's. I could adjust these speeds, but I want to show you this so that you can actually see the physical arc. And, and yes, it is much, that, that arc is much better. Now, if I want to do a full circle, I'll show you that in a second. Once I'm done with my job here, you can kind of see it as it goes through. If I want to do a full circle, I can modify this last point, which we'll teach, teach again, but it only requires three circles, and I will just basically forward down to that position, and then just slightly over, so it's so slightly over, kind of to complete the arc, I will reteach this point by just hitting modify enter. And so now I go to the top of that job there, and if I hit forward, it should do a complete circle. It should do a complete circle. So and, it, and all you need is three points. So that second point could be one over here, and then you can complete the rest of the circle. Play with it, but that's the idea. You only need three points to make a circle. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing in class in a few weeks, in, in, two, in, in next week.